Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we take a look at the connections that are available on the SX motor, what we can connect to them, and what we can use them for. To get to the connections of the Performance Line SX motor, we first have to remove the plastic cover and then, in this case, we also have to completely loosen the motor screws to lower the motor slightly, in order to get to the connections directly. Let's start with the motor cover. In this case, it is secured with four screws. Two here towards the rear triangle, and then two on the down tube. We can now simply loosen them one by one. Of course, it's much easier to do this with the rear wheel removed, but with small fingers, you can get to the screws just as easily. Also loosen the two front screws. As always, keep all the screws in a safe place, so that we can put everything back together again at the end without any problems. Once all the screws have been loosened, we can remove the cover and expose the so-called motor block. And as we can already see, the connections on the motor are not yet visible. They are hidden up here in this area. Which is why we now have to loosen the motor again here with the two motor screws, in order to be able to see the individual connections. As I've just said, I've left the rear wheel in place. Of course, we now have to unhook the chain on the other side, so that it doesn't get in the way when we want to lower the motor block. So in this case, simply pull the rear derailleur forwards a little, and then pull the chain down past the chain tensioner, the chain guide. I leave it hanging down here for the time being, and the motor is now virtually free and I can simply loosen it at the screws. Then we take the appropriate Torx screwdriver and loosen the screws from the frame. In this case, these are also secured at the rear with a special nut. So the thread is not screwed into the frame itself, but there is an extra nut where this motor screw sits. And once we've done that, we can pull the screw out, and the motor will lower a little. Make sure you keep it somewhere safe and don't lose the nut on the other side, so that we can screw the whole unit back together. With the second screw, we now do it in such a way that we only loosen it a little. Turn it slightly, so that the motor simply moves down a little, as in this case and we can already see that we have exposed the connections here. Now that we have laid the connections bare, we can take a closer look at them. The simplest connection is this one. This is simply the battery connection, which connects the e-bike battery to the motor. Then we have a second connection here. This is the connection for the display cable. You can clearly see that it's the black ring with the white marking, which is the connection to the e-bike display. And then, with the new SX motor, we now have only one other connection directly on the motor. And this is even a very special connection. There is currently a dummy plug fitted in, because it is not used on this bike. This is marked yellow, normally for the HPP high power port, and grey, usually for the speed sensor. This is now called MPP, the multi-power port, and various things can be connected to it at the same time. This is made possible by this interesting cable, which looks a bit like a spider, and in the end it works like one. This is the MPP multi-power port cable, which has a purple plug that can be plugged into this multi-power port and then provides connections for the speed sensor for the rear light and for the front light so this means that you also have the option of retrofitting a lighting system to the bike with performance line sx without any major difficulties 
although we only have this one multi-power port available. That's it for the really minimized connections on the Performance Line SX. Some of you may be thinking, well, but what if I want to connect more accessories, such as an anti-lock braking system or perhaps an electric shift system, and I don't have any connections like on the Performance Line CX, where I still have HPP and LPP ports. Don't worry, Bosch has also thought about this. They have developed this cable here. We will show you exactly how it works in a separate video, so take a look there. Subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss this or any other videos. If you have any questions about the Performance Line SX motor, the connections or how exactly it works, please let us know in the comments. You can of course find the appropriate cables, including the multi-power port cable, in our shop. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I wish you lots of fun e-biking, and we'll see you here again soon.